Welcome back to another episode of Thinking with Mike. Sometimes, even though you've done everything necessary to enter the relationship in a good way, you find yourself being honest, being open, feels really good, relationships with clients don't work out and you find yourself having to separate, for lack of a better term. Although extremely rare, this happened recently and I found myself kind of spending the weekend going through, you know, what leads to this? What are the common characteristics of a relationship that's going south? So number one, it's almost like an us versus them, gotta get you mentality. I find my buyers who are lovely, delightful people and all of a sudden we get into the time to write contracts or to, to go to bat with the sellers and it just becomes this game of cutthroat, like gotta get them, gotta have it all. I need 110% of the pie and they can go themselves and they can go fly a kite <laughs> no it doesn't work and that doesn't work for me because we've got multiple parties it's not just buyers and sellers right it's buyers sellers agents title officers it's so many people are involved in these transactions that you have got to look at it from a perspective of doing a good deal for everybody number two and this one takes a little while to present itself, okay? But the title is, habit of writing offers without the intent of actually buying the property. It starts to expose itself because the buyers start to kind of, when you're, when you're doing the paperwork, when you're doing the negotiations, that are, they start asking you like questions, not about the home or the neighborhood or the market, but they wanna know specifically about the times that they can get out of the contract. And so it starts to turn into this process of, you negotiate, but then, convince me why I should continue to buy this house instead of just making sure that you're not making a bad decision. And to be honest with you guys, I don't sell bad houses. I know what bad houses look like during the showing. So when we write an offer, it's already good. The fact that we're canceling is ridiculous right away. Number three, I, I call it love of money. Love of money is people who are well-funded generally in life, so they've got tons and tons of money, plenty to go, but when it comes time to actually separate from that money and to put it into an asset, they just break. I must break. They fold and they just like completely like crush. And these people can keep trying to convince themselves over and over and over again, but ultimately they're way too in love with their checking account balance and what that looks like that it just becomes impossible to actually deploy that so be well funded be ready to actually do something or just keep renting honestly like that's fine number four and i tell everybody this okay <laughs> don't google it ask me every single thing i say is getting benchmarked against some reddit thread that was written in 2017 or a google article written by some redfin agent who doesn't ha have a clue it's like you guys you got to realize that these threads and these articles are written by failed professionals right or they're just written for clicks and you fell for it so <laughs> but for real what this is this is a lack of trust in me and when we have lack of trust where you're, you're taking the google's word over my word this is just something that's gonna clash and it's not gonna work out. Number five, and most of the time, this is honestly the one that pulls the ripcord. I have really good clients. I just actually had one two weeks ago ask me, hey, I don't wanna be annoying you. I just wanna make sure this is enough. And I told them, I said, don't you worry. Like, if I'm answering your phone calls and we're talking, I'm doing this because I want to and I enjoy it. We gotta like each other. You know, this is a, this is a big thing. We're gonna hang out a lot. So my wife and kid love me, I think. <laughs> Ultimately, you gotta be with your people, right? So find your people, love your people. Let's buy some houses, you know what I'm saying?